Tottenham barely managed to win. Milan and Roma made out a fantabulous match. Barcelona just don't want to calm down in terms of refereeing in El Clasico. Bartomeu is disappointed of Barca fans again. Fatih pissed off Messi and Kuman acts in a very cold manner to Griezmann. The day turned out to be very interesting. Friends, we are telling about the latest news from the world of football every day. Subscribe to us and you'll no longer need to browse sites in search of information. We are to do it just for you. Friends, thank you for your subscriptions and comments. We have read all of your sayings and we are very pleased with them. Because we work only for you and you are our everything. Stay with us. Guys, who do you think is the coolest performer of this season? Zlatan or Cristiano Ronaldo? Write your opinion in the comments below. Well, leave us your like, because we are about to start. Ronaldo violated the coronavirus protocol. An investigation is underway, said Italian sports minister Vincenzo Spadarofa. Leonardo discussed the extension of the contract with Mbappé's surroundings. The player wants to know how the club will develop in the future. Real Madrid wants to keep the team captain Sergio Ramos. The Madrid club intends to resolve the issue with the extension of the footballer's contract as soon as possible. According to us, the parties are likely to come to an agreement before the end of the calendar year. Zlatan has scored six goals in three Serie A games this season. That is what we call being in an awesome shape. Neymar made his World Star squad, consisting of five players. The team consists of Paul Pogba, Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Kylian Mbappe and Eden Hazard. AC Milan remains the only club in the top five leagues not to lose this season. My dream is to score against England again, but this time with my right hand, the legendary Diego Maradona said in the interview with France Football. I became a vegan. Never felt so good. I lost 3 kilograms, said Barcelona defender Samuel Umtiti. I used to pray a lot and spend 5-6 hours a day with physiotherapist, said Liverpool goalkeeper Alisson. Zenit is in talks with Pochettino in case Semak is fired. They are willing to pay him 6.5 million euros a year. We have to adapt to Messi. He is the best player in the world, states Frankie de Jong. Real Madrid defender Nacho will have four weeks off due to injury. Two right backs, Carvajal and Ojoasola, are already injured. Man City is keeping an eye on Pochettino and Nagelsmann in case Guardiola leaves. Manchester United remains determined to acquire Erling Haaland. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer really wants to see the striker at Old Trafford. Pogba denied information about leaving the French national team because of Macron's words about the Islamic terrorist attack and will sue the Sun newspaper. Life in Barcelona is so enjoyable that it seems like you're on the vacation all year. The UEFA official website quotes Frankie de Jong. Donnarumma, Hauge and three other people at Milan have contracted the coronavirus. Barcelona isn't happy with the outcome of the El Clasico? Real is focused on its tasks. I'm not against talking. Marca quoted Zidane. Ronaldo and Messi are ahead of everyone. No one can do even half of what they do, said Diego Maradona. I would exchange the Ballon d'Or for the victory of Croatia at the World Cup. Individual awards are spectacular, but it is team goals that are more important to me, Modric told 442. Ali wasn't included in Tottenham's squad for the match against Burnley, although he is not injured. Ronaldo's optimal position, starting from the left insider and moving to the center. He can play with Morata or Dybala, Pirlo told Sky Sport Italia. I will try to win the Champions League as we try to do that every year. It is a dream, but now the most important thing is to withstand the group stage, said Pep Guardiola. Lost to Aston Villa, the players reacted as I expected. They fought and won two matches, said Liverpool head coach Jurgen Klopp. My Real Madrid had amazing attacking players and we built a team. Tottenham needs a balance, Sky Sports quotes Jose Mourinho. Zidane substitutes me in the 50th, 60th minute or even during the break and lets me in from the 80th minute. Real Madrid midfielder Isco expressed his displeasure. Is Donny van de Beek better than Paul Pogba? No, this is a player of a different plan, but no. Bruno Fernandes? Also no, his purchase was not necessary by all means, says ex-Manchester United player Patrice Evra. 
Everton and Liverpool are in the top two in the Premier League table for the first time in 27 years. A number of top league matches took place yesterday. All the results are in front of you. And now we move on to the main news. Let's go! Now we will talk briefly upon the Monday matches. Tottenham inched a minimal victory over Burnley, 0-1. The only goal was in the account of the shocking Spurs' duo, Kane gave an assist to Son. Mourinho's team climbed to the fifth position. In another central match of Monday, Milan and Roma had a gangster shootout. 3-3. Zlatan scored a brace and Salimaker scored once for the Rossoneri. Dzeko, Veretu and Kumbula netted for the Wolves from Roma. Despite the draw, Milan continues to lead the Serie A. The referee scandal around the game of the match day 7 of La Liga between Barcelona and Real Madrid doesn't mean to stop. According to Sport S, the linesman told referee Juan Martinez Munuera that Barcelona defender Clement Langlais didn't fall on Real Madrid captain Sergio Ramos in the 62nd minute and recommended not to award a penalty kick in this episode. According to the source, the assistant told Manuera that the Spanish was the first to fall on Langlais, but the referee didn't pay attention to these words and put a penalty kick in Barca's net. It is reported that the Catalan club plans to request audio talks between the referees working in the field and the judges in the charge of the VAR in order to find out how the case really was occurring. Barca is convinced that the campaign is being waged against the club under the leadership of Carlos Velasco Carballo, who is responsible for appointing referees for the matches. Barcelona president José Bartomeu will continue his work. Yesterday there was a meeting of the board of directors of the Catalan club and Bartomeu didn't resign from his post as president of Barca. At the evening press conference, the president of Barcelona answered questions from journalists and was especially questioned upon the topic of Messi. During those weeks we had to defend the idea of what was the best for both Barca and the best player in the world and history of football. To stay together, Leo Messi had an agreement whereby he could leave the club, but his option has expired. The top sporting priority was to start a new era for Barcelona with Messi on the lead. I represented the interests of the club, accepting the consequences that would entail refusing to let Messi go to one of our direct rivals. This team with Leo Messi and the combination of young talents and victorious experience will bring back the pride and hope that our fans crave. Said Bartomeu, I had no thoughts of resigning, we have a wonderful project under construction, says Bartomeu. In the match with Real, they gave a non-existent penalty. We need a fair football out there, said current Barcelona president. And a little more from the Lost El Clasico. Spanish TV workers caught a few interesting moments. After the match, journalists discussed the cold handshake of Kuman and Griezmann and Messi's reaction to Ansu Fati's actions. After an inaccurate shot from the 17-year-old striker, Leo was extremely disappointed and spoke out to Fati. The more you go, the more interesting it's to watch this Barcelona falling apart. Friends, subscribe to our new channel Top Football. Our team made a video about football players who never simulated on purpose. A top rating and amazing content from our guys. The video is right in front of you. Click, watch and subscribe. Well, we gotta say goodbye for now. As always, have a nice one and see you in a bit.